Hi there, today I'm going to walk you through setting up multiple lines or speed dials or uh, busy lamp fields in Call Manager. What I'll be using is a 7965. So as you can see, this has six different spots that um, each one of those buttons can be either a directory number, a speed dial, or a busy lamp field. There's actually other options too, but those are the ones that I will cover in this video. So my phone is registered, but as you can see, there is only one spot open, but I have six available spots on my phone. So how do we change that? That is managed on the phone button template. So my auto registration um, gave it the universal device template button layout, which is not what we want. Um, now if I go down to the standard 7965 SCCP that might be different for whatever your phone you have but that's the one that I'm going to use because that's the type of phone I'm using so let me see if I can find it 7965 SCCP so I'm going to save and apply that config okay and now look here we are we have all these other options now. The other uh, five um, soft keys are now available to configure. Um, and then we can also change these templates if we want to. Let me show you how to do that quick. We'll go to device, device settings, and then phone button template. And we're going to add a new one and we'll just copy that uh, 7965 one. 7965 SCCP. So I'm going to copy one and I'll name it. Let's see. Um, so let's pretend that we have a user that wants two lines. So we'll say 2L and then we'll say wants 2BLF. and two speed dials. So I'll save that. In line one, it's already aligned. You can't change it to anything else. Um, line two is also aligned already, so we don't need to change that. Line three, we are going to change that to a, uh, a BLF, um, maybe. Yes, a speed dial BLF and speed dial BLF. So there we go. We got our two lines, we got our two BLFs, and then we have our two normal speed dials. So I'm going to save that and then I'm going to go back to that 7965 phone and it's this one right here and then I'm going to apply that new uh, phone button template to it so the standard 7965 2 line 2 BLF 2 speed dials and now watch these will change when I click save and there we go so um, I'll just go ahead and add a second directory number and before I do that I just want to show you my phone see it has that 7003 right up at the top in line one so I'll do click add new directory number and I just added uh, 4296 and I'm going to save apply config and then let's uh, watch this phone it's going to re-register and boom now I'm seeing elevator ATA on there as well okay so now I can go back to speed dial so if you go up at the top corners here you'll see related links and so you can click go to go back to the device or we know the MAC address was CB5D and here is showing all the devices associated with 4296. So we could either click this to go back to the phone, or we could click this, and it will take us back 
to that phone. And we're going to do uh, a BLF speed dial. So the difference between BLF speed dial is the BLF is going to light up um, if somebody is on the line. So I'm going to go ahead and add one of those. And actually you'll see that I can edit both of them at uh, the same time. So I'm going to say that the destination is going to be 4295, an internal extension. And I'll say that the label is Martin. I'm going to spy on myself. And then for this one, I'll say 7000 for the extension. And I'll say UCCX agent. And I'm going to click save. And close. And the phone is reloading again. And as you can see, we now have two speed BLF speed dials as well. We got like it looks like a full keypad next to Martin and UCCX agent. So now when those lines are in use, those are actually going to light up orange. Um, now you don't need that if, say, you need to have uh, Papa John's or um, you know Pizza Hut uh, an external an external number for a speed dial. Um, or if you just don't want people to know when somebody else is on the line, um, you could uh, just use a standard speed dial. So that's I'm going to go uh, ahead and configure those now. And let's just say nine one two three four five six seven eight nine zero one, and I'll say pizza hut, and I'll say. Nine one eight seven six five four three two one three four Little Caesars. So I'll save those and close. And that's going to re register. And now look at that we got Pizza Hut and um, Little Caesars so there you have it I've got uh, two lines set up two BLF speed dials and we also have two regular speed dials so now um, what if I wanted to change this later and I didn't want to have to go and change the whole uh, uh, phone button template what do we do then well actually that's uh, not that hard um, what we can do is to change this for just this phone, we can go ahead and click Modify Button Items. And let's say I decided, you know what, I don't want this person to be able to see when 4295 and 7000 are talking. So I'll click 4295 and I'll get rid of that. And then I am going to select add a new speed dial. And I'm going to click this over button. And there it is again. And then I'm going to get rid of 7000 as well. And then I'm going to, let's see, I think I have to click save before I can add another speed dial. So I'm going to save. And then right here, I'm going to click there first so that it doesn't go all the way to the bottom of the list. Then I'm going to move that. Oh, an item must be removed. So I'll remove none. Add a new speed dial. Save. And close. Okay. And now this is going to reload again. And we now have two blank spots for the speed dials. So I'll go into those and now you can see it has all four speed dial options for the 7965. So I'll add these back on. 4295 Martin and uh, 7000 Finesse Agent. And now those are just regular speed dials so I can still use those to call that person quickly. but. I can't see when they are talking or not. So this thing is going to reload again. 
And there you have it. I now have two lines and um, four speed dials. So I hope this has been helpful for you. If you have any other questions, uh, please go ahead and comment those and I'll make a video uh, as I have time. And um, if you did like the video, it was helpful. Please like, please subscribe, and thank you for watching. Have a great day.